how are we? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this video because it is my little birthday vlog. It's the birthday weekend. Your girl's gonna be 27. 27 years old on Monday. Today is November 6th, so it's Saturday. I'm feeling like a lot of emotions turning 27 years old, okay? I think I'm gonna do another video with like this little letter that I wrote to myself, you know, try to be a little sentimental because listen, everyone around me right now is getting married, having babies, buying houses, and I'm just here, right? Like perfecting my water to oatmeal or almond milk and oatmeal ratio without having to measure it. So like, these are my big victories, okay? Okay. I am feeling a lot of emotions about turning 27. I definitely am not where I saw myself being like when I was younger, like 27 year old me was killing it. But you know what? I'm kind of killing it. We're almost there. We're almost there. So I'm just gonna take you guys along today for a little mini vlog. This morning I'm meeting my girls for brunch and then I'm going to run a few errands, come back home, maybe take a nap because I have shenanigan festivities tonight. I'm going to dinner at a rooftop lounge with two of my girlfriends. So I will be vlogging bringing you guys along and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Good morning, everyone. This is the next day. I'm terrible at vlogging. My first attempt at vlogging, absolutely garbage. So you're only gonna be able to see a little bit of what I did yesterday, Saturday, November 6th for my little birthday shenanigans with my friends. But I had such a wonderful time. God has really blessed me with some of the greatest friends. I've literally, like, I'm so, so thankful. And so this morning is November 7th. It's a Sunday, the day before your girl turns 27. Oh my God. And I am on my way to church. But before I go to church, I'm gonna stop and go to Starbucks because their holiday flavor flavors are in and I want a sugar cookie or frosted sugar cookie ice latte in the worst way. So I will check back in when we get to Starbucks, let you get a little review of what the coffee tastes like, if we should be getting it, if we should not be getting it. And then we will be on our way to church. Y'all are gonna have to forgive this angle, but have you ever had to drive somewhere and you thought you had enough gas, but you literally don't? I'm supposed to go to church and it's about 58 minutes away. So it's an hour away. It's saying that it's gonna be like 40 miles or something like that. I could technically make it there, but I would be running on fumes by the time I got there. And like, I just don't want that. Like, I just need my fix of Jesus this morning with no issues, nothing at all, but uh, so now I'm gonna be a little bit late, but I have to get my Starbucks first. Like there's no way. So I'm gonna stop at Starbucks first, get gas, and then we gotta go to church. But this is just like, you know those people that are like, oh, you know, I know my car, my car is gonna get there. The devil will really play with me today and I will really be late and I don't want that. My car will literally shut off and I'm like there. So I, you know what? <sighs> I don't wanna be that person. I don't wanna be that person. So I'm gonna stop and get gas. I, I was gonna try and push it, but we're not gonna do that. Also, if anybody here is literally at every red light, I'm just <laughs> filming. So um, yeah, oh, now I'm driving, but. Okay, so if anybody cares also, I thought I would just give you a heads up, but like my mask meat is clearing up a little bit. Like there's some little bumps, but your girl got her period yesterday on her, well, like on her pre-birthday. So, you know, mm, there's that. So I have a little bit of a hormonal breakout going on right now, but the mask meat is clearing up. You know, the makeup went on a little bit smoother today. We love that. I think I definitely want to do a series about me treating my acne and my hyperpigmentation because like as an adult, I don't get that many 
real breakouts just like the little hormonal ones like a bump here or there and then like it's just hyperpigmentation is something that I really struggle with and I've struggled with it forever so if you guys have any recommendations for any products that I should be using that have helped you in the past with hyperpigmentation please let your girl know because I don't want to be having to put on like this all this cover-up and makeup so that I like you know can feel like my skin is all one tone you know I want to be natural okay the Lord made me beautiful but sometimes you know know how it is you wake up and you're like oh girl no put the makeup on like get it together look presentable today so yeah if you guys have any recommendations please let me know would you guys look at this absolute line right now absolutely not so now we have to run it all right let's run it i'm leaving my car on so there's that hopefully nobody steals it Okay, so just a little bit of a minor inconvenience but they said that they're backed up by 20 minutes like for mobile orders which is terrible because i have to be to church at 10 o'clock and it is now 9 5 so i decided that i'm going to go get gas first and then i'm going to come back and hopefully my order is ready if not then they're gonna have to refund me my money and i'm really upset because i really really wanted some coffee this morning i purposely didn't make my own coffee so that i could try this one out but honestly i should have just did it myself because i have frosted sugar cookie creamer at home which would have been fine but whatever so i'm gonna go get gas first and then we will go back to starbucks these gas prices are getting way out of hand. I have a small Chevy Spark, which usually takes about $15 to fill up completely. And today I spent $26.54. Ghetto, these GPA gas prices need to go down immediately, immediately. This is getting out of hand. This is very ghetto, very, very ghetto. Do not recommend, zero out of 10, absolutely not. We are back at Starbucks and I'm gonna wait about like two more minutes before I go back in. It's about 9.15 right now and I've gotta make it to church by 10 a.m. in 58 minutes, which is not going to happen. So um, yeah, let's just pray that my coffee's done in two minutes because I already paid $7 for it. Like I don't wanna not get it now, you know? The spiritual warfare I be talking about. The spiritual warfare I be talking about. I just went in and they had my coffee. So today I got a venti iced sugar cookie, almond milk iced latte, iced latte. And um, this is what it looks like. You can't really see because the lighting in here is garbage, but it's really, really light. I also got that with the vanilla sweet cold foam on top. They didn't put my little sprinkles on like I ordered, but you know what? I'm not gonna dwell because I really do need to go. So let me just do a little taste test, see if we recommend it. And then, yeah, all right. Okay, okay, not bad. I thought it was gonna be more sweet than what it is, but you know what? I'm actually not mad at it. Also, the lid just kind of popped off, so hold on, let me readjust. This is actually fire. It tastes just like a sugar cookie. It's not really that sweet, so if you're not a person that likes sweet coffee, this is definitely a drink for you. I added a little bit of the sweet and vanilla cold foam on top for a little razzle-dazzle, and honestly, it's perfect mix. So definitely 10 on a 10 do recommend this. I can't wait to try all the other holiday flavors. And if you're watching, please drop your favorite holiday flavor down in the comments. All right, now I gotta go to church. I'm gonna be driving like that little baby on that meme where it's like where you need to be to work at like nine o'clock and it's 905 like oh, me so let's let's pray and make it there in one piece your girl made it to church okay it is 10 10 a.m i just texted the girl that invited me to her church i don't know if you guys know this if you've been following but i just moved to philly well no i moved to philly about a year ago but i was splitting my time between my home church and here and i hadn't found a home church here so i've been like going to a bunch of churches around here in philly to see which one feels the most like home and i had been really praying that god would put people in my circle who were kind of in the same season as me friends that would hold me accountable and keep me close to god like keep me on that track and i met this girl a couple 
couple weeks ago, I went out for a friend's birthday party and we instantly clicked. We're on the same faith journey. We're both watching right now, Crazy Your Faith by Mike Todd. And it was just like, God, you really be listening. He really be listening. So she invited me to church today and she's actually not even here yet. So I have a few minutes to just update you guys. So I finally made it. I was definitely speeding just a little bit. Sorry, mom, if you're watching, but yeah, I was booking it because I wanted to make sure that I got here in enough time, but I'm so hyped. I see everybody walking in and I'm just like, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So I will basically touch base with you guys once I get back into the car, when I head home, and then I'll figure out what the heck the rest of my day is going to look like. Oh my gosh. Hi y'all. Church was phenomenal oh my god this was literally one of the best sermons i have been to and let me tell you something your girl has been struggling just a little bit lately and i'm feeling so like confident so encouraged so motivated with my birthday coming up like i'm just really looking forward to how god is going to use me use this channel to be a blessing to others use all of the seeds he's planted inside planted inside of me to encourage and motivate others like in my work and with my students at my church and my family i'm just feeling so encouraged and so motivated so i'm just so thankful that i went to the service today it was wonderful i'll post their information down below if anybody is willing or is interested in checking out where they are located they're in pot Town, Pennsylvania. I believe it's Post Town. I think it's called Harvest Tabernacle, and it was a wonderful service. The pastor, he was really preaching. The first lady, just everything was amazing. Praise and worship, everything. Like, come get your life. God will deal with you. And oh, wonderful. So now I think I'm gonna go home and then get ready for my little birthday photo shoot. And then I haven't really decided what else I'm gonna do today. I have to go grocery shopping, but I think I might put that in my next video, like show you guys that. But yeah, I think I'll just touch base with you when I'm home, finally finishing my birthday photo shoot um, that I've been wanting to do, and then we'll just be chilling for the night. So this lighting is absolutely garbage, but it is November 8th, my birthday. Your girl is officially 27 years old. Oh my God. I am at Starbucks right now because I wanted the sugar cookie ice latte that I got yesterday, but Starbucks is now out of the sugar cookie. So I had to bring my own sugar cookie creamer, but you know, we're not gonna let that ruin the day. Listen, I am so excited. Listen, I am on my way to school and I feel like my students have something planned for me. I mean, if they don't, hold on. I have a mobile order for Rihanna. It's like Rihanna. Rihanna with an R. Rihanna. Yes. It was just a, it was just a espresso, right? Yep. Awesome. You can pull around and see the window. Thank you. Okay, so anyway, like I was saying, you should put this window up because it is cold. Okay, so I feel like my students have something planned for me today. I was gonna call off work and just like chill out at home and like, you know, just like edit videos and just like lounge a little bit. But my students were like, miss, no, we want you to come to school on Monday. So I'm coming today. They wanna have like a little party. So I'll try to film it. Like I don't wanna put the kids in the video because like for their, you know, own privacy. I'm just so excited. I just feel so grateful and so blessed because it's like, oh girl. 27 is a new year. It's a new year for opportunities and blessings, right? Like, oh, I'm just so excited. Honestly, I'm so blessed. 26 was a hard year. I feel like I'm 27 years old and I feel like in the eyes of society, I'm an adult, but I feel like I don't have anything together. And I mean, we're getting there, right? We're getting there. Adulting is just very ghetto. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. I mentioned this before. It's giving very much stress and anxiety. Like zero to 10 do not recommend. Um, you went through, I went through so much. Hold on, I'm going to the window. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Okay, anyway, like I was saying, 26 was such a hard year. I feel like I lived in unideal living situations. I didn't have people in my circle who were like truly like in the same season as I was. I felt very isolated. I felt very like depressed. I've I experienced love, heartbreak, I've experienced it all and, but through God, like I'm still here and I'm just so excited to see. A main major thing is that I started my YouTube channel. I've been talking about starting a YouTube channel forever and I kept talking myself out of it because I'm like, I don't have a camera, I don't have a film space, I don't have all the fancy lights, I don't have all the equipment, but you know what, here we are. God has blessed me with finances that I can afford, basic lighting, a phone that has wonderful quality for what the phone is. I mean, iPhone 13, 
Pro Max has pretty good camera. I mean, this is, this is not my angle and this is not really the lighting, but I just feel so incredibly blessed. And I just know that God is gonna use me. Like, and I'm so excited to see where he takes me. Like in this next year of life, 27 is our year, baby. We're coming for you. We're coming for the dream house, the dream car, the dream body. We are having crazier faith. The Lord is going to provide and deliver all the things that he has said he would. So I am just so incredibly thankful, but I just wanted to jump on here and just, <laughs> because you're looking at a 27 year old, okay? <laughs> I just wanted to share really quickly that the International Delight Frosted Sugar Cookie Creamer is way better than the one at Starbucks. And I'm so glad that I put my own little concoction together. I had to bring my own almond milk because they were out of almond milk and they were also out of the frosted sugar cookie flavoring. So if anybody wants to check that out, I'll link it down below. But it's my favorite holiday flavor. You can get it from the grocery store, super cheap. But I definitely want to say that it's a lot better than the one at Starbucks. So there's that. You know, don't mind me, just everybody's favorite 27 year old teacher. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so hyped. You would think I'd be really sad because like I'm 30, but like ugh, it's gonna be a great year. Okay, so really quickly, I know that this is so childish, but do you guys remember when you guys were in elementary school and it was your birthday and you would have a party and you would pick out your little birthday outfit? You wanted to stunt on all of your friends and all your peers? Well, I don't want to stunt on anyone today, but this is my birthday fit for today. You know, check out the booties. And I'm wearing tights. I used to hate when my mom used to make me wear tights when I was little, but here I am, you know, we're bringing it back. We got the cute little plaid skirt and a turtleneck. Oh my gosh, I used to hate these as a kid, but today, I mean, it's, getting, it's cold out. November is usually very cold, but you know, now I love them as an adult, but I just wanted to come in here and show you guys. Also, you guys can see my dirty classroom. I had to go clean it really quick, but I also forgot to look over my lesson that I'm supposed to teach today. So I had to like multitask at the same time, but I wanted to show you guys the birthday fit. So here it is. Okay, you see me? <laughs> Y'all, please forgive this angle. But as you guys just saw, I had my birthday dinner with my family. And honestly, I'm just so blessed to have the family that I do because I don't get to see them that often. They live back at home, which is about two and a half hours from Philly. So I'm currently in my hometown of Wilkesbury right now. And I'm just so happy that I got to see them. Also my cousin. So both of my cousins that you saw, they, um, they're twins, but one of them just got back from basic training. I literally haven't seen him since we went on vacation in August. And and I got to finally see him. He came back um, yesterday. He got back yesterday. So I'm just so grateful and blessed to be able to spend, you know, my birthday with them because like I just thought I haven't seen them in so long and it just feels so good to just be around them and just have such a wonderful squad and be like wonderful support system in my corner. Like I'm just honestly so happy. But anyway, I am in the line currently or the drive through currently at Starbucks because I still have to take this two and a half hour trip home. So I'm just coming to get some espresso really quick. And then I'm actually going to head to my aunt's house. We can do cake and ice cream really quick because you can't end your birthday without cake and ice cream and then after that i'm going to be heading to philly so this is basically going to be the wrap up of this entire birthday vlog honestly i don't even know if i can call it a birthday vlog this is just for memories and i will be getting better i'll be practicing vlogging more often and i'm also getting a camera so um well actually i bought the camera but it's on back order so it'll be here soon hopefully so i'll be able to vlog a little bit better the quality will be a lot better and yeah so there's that but i'll touch base with you guys once i get to my aunt's house and we have cake and ice cream and then we'll just wrap it up.